Wait, for which sauce? For or, wait, wasabi. Are you to ask? Wasabi? Wasabi yeah, is not, not hot spicy. sauce. I know it's not hot sauce, but how would wasabi you compare- Wasabi is made out of horseradish. How would you compare the spice of that to, like, hot sauce? Have you tried mm. horseradish? Yeah. Well, it's- it's that spice level, because it's made out of horseradish, literally. I would say wasabi is kind of like- So, not spicy at all? You're never gonna have, like, actual wasabi wasabi, because- Real wasabi you hurts. To... Hurts. You, Razor, you've never tried real wasabi. I won't- what? I guarantee- <laughs> I mean, I've never- I went to because, restaurants. Yes, you went to they don't serve real wasabi, because the real wasabi only grows in very, very specific conditions. That it takes, like, it, it, it took so much effort for them to figure out even how to be able to farm it, and it's, like, in Japan, so and it has like... to, you have to have, like, running water, running stream water through it, and even then, it's very fragile plant, it has to be, like, very specific conditions, and and when you take it out, and you, and you like, grate it, or cut it, that the, the flavor starts fading in one to two hours, so you have to grate it fresh. If they're not grating it for you fresh in front of you, that's not real wasabi. But it still tastes like wasabi. No, it's horseradish. <laughs> We've never, I've never tried real wasabi. Basically. So what I is, what is real was wasabi then? It's when they take the plant. So it's and a, they grate it's it. just a plant. It, it, it's a just... root. Yeah, it's a oh. root. Kind of similar, like horseradish is a root too. But or they're different flavors because wasabi. Like rhubarb, kind of. If you know what yeah. that is. I, I like kind of, but I don't think I've had much eating of it. Uh, the real the wasabi plant is like less spicy than horseradish and more earthy taste, is what I can tell. You know what? I can you know that you just... grow it in the greenhouse, though. You can, but you need running water through it too, so it's like hard. Yeah, I'll just put you the fucking link right there, boom. You can just look at that. It's expensive. Well, anything that's hard to make or hard to acquire. No, it is just fucking chaos here. What the fuck is going on? Spam with rice razor, or any meat, honestly, any savory meat on top of rice is fucking bomb. But spam, because oh, here, here's, so what I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. Tomorrow I'm out going, I'm going out to get to get some groceries because I need to make lunch prep for the whole week. So I'm gonna be making like five meals tomorrow. Five meals of spam and rice. <laughs> I'm not gonna do five meals spam and rice, but. Rice is on the menu, and I've been looking for a meat substitute because I don't want uh, I can't reheat some food, or like some food doesn't taste good cold, like steak for example, you don't want cold steak, you don't want to microwave that shit, but wasabi, I mean not wasabi, uh, spam seems like a meat that I can eat cold, right? Oh, definitely. And you can microwave I'll, I'll that do... shit, but obviously the best thing to do is to sear it on a pan, but obviously microwave works well, just what fine. If I, what if I sear it on a pan and cook it, and then refrigerate it, bring it to work next time? Oh yeah, 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 definitely sear it first, and before you like, like pack it. Don't, don't, don't fucking take it out of the can and microwave it. That's gonna be like. Ugh. Oh hell no! What? No, yeah. S <laughs> slice that shit, sear it, put it on the rice, put it in a box, and then bring it to work. Oh, and then I eat noticed that, shit. that there's different types of spam. The ones like different uh, fat or something. Which one do I get? Just a less sodium one. Honestly, and less sodium better? and regular taste about the same because that shit just I has tried so much both. fucking sodium. It, it tastes, tastes about the same different. both of them, so... Oh, really? Well, yeah, just go for regular. I always, like... Regular? Regular. That's the general rule of thumb for anything. So I'm go for regular because... All that less sodium or this, like, fat-free or all that other weird shit. That Bro. is what makes it good. I like fat. It's good enough. I don't really like, like it, Razor. I don't like having to chew, like, really fucking chewy shit that just won't fucking... Like, you know when you chew something and it you can't just chew through it? It's like yep. rubber and or whatever? You too, will like spam and rice. And you're just chewing shit. and chewing and chewing and sometimes you just... You yeah. mean a celery? I'm angry at how much you're celery. chewing the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like... I hate celery. Yeah. Yeah, no, celery is... No. And sometimes like tough meat. Oh, if it's just tough, like tendon kind of thing where you can't yeah. chew it? Yeah, kind of like I tendon, just, but like... Yeah, I just swallow. Oh. 
<laughs> if it tastes said. good, I'll swallow it too, but otherwise if it's like annoying as fuck and doesn't even taste good, I'll fucking spit that shit out. That's what she you, said. Razor, do you eat cartilage? <laughs> the way like, you chi what, cartilage? like chicken? From from chicken? Yeah. Yes, I like cartilage. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yes, cartilage I like the way good. it crunches. Good. I even go to the bone. I take the cartilage, eat it, and then I eat the, and I start eating the bone. <laughs> it's oh, like man, it's... The Taiwanese know what's up. Like, you know about popcorn chicken? Oh my yeah. god, yes. Yeah, they make popcorn cartilage. What? <laughs> so it's like popcorn chicken, but crunchy. Oh my oh. god, yes. I've only ever encountered that in Southern Cal, where it's like a bunch of Taiwanese people. Try it someday, popcorn cartilage. Okay. Wait, am I I'm weird hungry. for. Wait, you know that bone underneath the cartilage? It's like super soft. You guys ever chew on that too? Yes, yeah, cartilage too. It's soft. No, no, it's not the white. It's like underneath the white, it's like part of the bone. What? Okay, so you have the chicken, right? The chicken. You eat all the meat off with your mouth. Now you got the bone, and then you got the cartilage, which is like the white part, right? It's like that weird, oh. rubbery looking part. You take that off with your mouth, right? You pull it off with your teeth. Eat it. Crunchy. Nice. And then there's bone. And underneath the cartilage is like a soft bone. And you can chew that too. Yeah. You guys don't do that, or am I, am I just fucking. <laughs> I mean, I don't eat whole chicken that often. I don't know, I, when I eat chicken, I like, eat all the meat off the bones and kind of clean the bones and then I that's about the it. Part. Like, the drums or the wings or the, like, I don't usually have like, whole chicken or chicken breast. I usually don't fuck with the chicken breast. Cause that shit dry. No, I like the chicken legs. Or, like, well, it depends on how you make it. Oh, chicken oh. leg. Are you talking about that, that thin piece? Yeah, chicken, leg, bone. Okay, okay, these are some good pictures. Alright, so... In the big room. Yep. So... Oh my fucking god. This. Okay, so you see the chicken bone, right? You see my arrows pointing to that brown part, and underneath the brown part, you see the white. So normally, cartilage. so normally this, this is cartilage, right? Yeah. But underneath the cartilage, you're left with the brownish part of the bone. Oh, okay. That's not cartilage. That's okay, just so Razor, you see bone. the other side of the bone, how it's just a nice, like, rounded piece of yeah. curve? Thing. Yeah, that's how it should look on both sides, is how I eat it. Right, but I yes, eat, I'll eat there. the brown too. Like, yeah, okay, I think, I think the answer is yes, because if it's, if it's not hard, it's not hard. Like, like, here's like the back part. Right? Whatever, yes, yes. If it's not looking like that, then... If yeah. it looks like that, I eat it. Oh, that? I'll eat, I'll eat this whole part, too. <laughs> you can chew that. It's soft enough you... to chew can, but it takes a lot of crunching. No, Not good no, in no. general for your teeth to crunch too hard. It's not hard. It's not. It has flavor too. It's like you can reach the bone. But since it's chicken, there's like not a lot of marrow to get out of there. Uh, I'll try that at some point. I never thought to try it. Yeah, it's, but it's like extra chewing. It's nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, amazing. You've been broke for so long. This is what you have to resort to. Fuck off! <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> Ain't nobody else I know be like, oh yeah, I like to chew the bone off. Oh, you can go and get some no, it's more. It's the tip of the bone. It's like that. Like, like it's weird. It's like edible. <laughs> it's got a different texture. Oh my fucking god. Yo, you guys gotta try it. You gotta. It's just. It's like a very thin. It's like the outer crust. Of it. You can't really go that far in the bone. Don't fucking try to chew the bone itself. You'll get splinters. But. Okay, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about, because I've like accidentally nibbled into it a couple times. And I, I do it on purpose, because I'm like, hey, this is fun. I'll try. Like, cartilage was an acquired taste as well. That's probably yeah. an acquired taste too, so. It is definitely an acquired taste, but it's not a bad one. Oh my god, it is. Yeah, it's late. I gotta eat. Yeah. I gotta sleep. See you, see you. Later. Alright, have a good night.
nights. Have like ten water bottles next to you. Is there <laughs> ten water bottles? No, I have a big jug of water. Not ten, but I, I do have four fucking empty water bottles next to me. I have a gallon jug of water. Oh, you drink the gallons? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Too. Oh, I, I just I drink so much water that I don't need to go get more bottles. <laughs> fucking. I just have the jug. Hold on. 